Miss Pui, one of the largest creators on the interweb, has graciously offered us plebeians 1 million US dollar dues for a scholarship fund if you are an underprivileged student. Don't get me wrong, this is by far one of the best things that she has done. No matter what people may say, this is a good deed in and of itself and no one can take that away from her. It is a net positive on the world and, and it is a good deed if it is a legit fund. Which, if I'm being completely honest, I do have a bit of reservations about it because a few days ago, us losers were going through her scholarship scholarship website live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the sneaky sushi where I stream every Thursdays at 8 p.m. You can come join us on stream if you want to increase your brain cell count. But as we were going through her website, a few things struck out to me that seemed a little bit odd. First of all, her website looks like the front page of spankbang.com. Like what, what the fuck are all these explicit photos for? It is a scholarship website. I wasn't sure if I was applying for a scholarship fund or signing up to the OnlyFans school of lovemaking and fornication. I mean the banner itself is a close-up shot of her milk canisters. I can almost see the follicles on her skin. Secondly, the form itself sounded very unprofessional. The questions were phrased very oddly as you will soon see. And the fact that they used jot form to collect our data kind of put me on edge. For those of you who don't know, whoever creates a form through Jot form is able to collect your IP address. Couple that with the personal information that you are giving away in the form, you are now potentially part of a data extraction scheme to sell your private information to shady entities. Look, I'm not saying that this is what she's doing. This is by no means actual fact and I cannot confirm nor deny that this is what the form or the fund is doing. Uh, all I'm saying that it's very ear-raising. Also, the entity behind this fund, Edu Capital, has backed a similar US creator by the name of Bad Barbie. I'm sure most of you have heard about her. She's that Catch me outside. That. girl from Dr. Phil and they did a similar thing with her as well you know giving away 1.7 million US dollars to help students get educated with online classes like I said this is still a good thing I'm not gonna shit on that but a part of me is just wondering if this is just a PR gimmick to get headlines talking about her and to improve her image from just being an explicit content creator anyway I decided to apply for the scholarship myself as you guys know I dropped out of university so I gotta keep my mind shut I want to get re-educated again you know so i went on to a website to humbly request mommy pui e to give me some spare change to help me with my education here's how it went there's a banner of your fucking tits on a scholarship application website let's keep things personal no i don't want to keep things personal what's your full name um what's my name what's our name guys trevor tomali singapore zoo uh, elephant enclosure beside gate C. Next. What's the best phone number for you? What the fuck are you asking? What's the best phone number for me? A phone number that has eight digits. The English though. Uh, fucking Brunei, I guess. What email address can we reach you at? This is only to get in touch, not send spam. If I were applying for a scholarship, I don't feel confident with this. I mean, first of all, the website doesn't look professional at all. The questions sound weird. There's phrasing errors and grammatical errors. It's not professional at all. Are you currently enrolled in a college, university or trade school? No, I want to go to NTU. I want to go back to NTU. School student is upon us. Why are you interested in learning a new skill? Ah. Oh. I'm trying to be the biggest YouTuber. I would love to learn filmmaking skills. My idols are Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Steven Lim, and Kurt Tay. But my favorite YouTuber of all time is none other than Mami Pui. -E. What field of study are we interested in? Human resources, influencer marketing, uh, medical office administration, patient care tech, pharmacy technician. Huh? What's a pharmacy technician? A technician that only works in a pharmacy. Like, he, on he only has to work at a pharmacy. He can only repair the lights and the cash register in the pharmacy. Only in the pharmacy. <laughs> Nowhere else. Oh my god, there is such a thing. I'm so fucking stupid. What does a pharmacy technician do? Uh, supply medicines to patients. Ah, that's what a pharmacy technician is. See Sushi, you're learning already. Thank you, Miss Pui. Thank you, Pui, for teaching me new things and new words today. I feel like I want to be a travel agent. I want to see the world. That's cool. When do you feel you are ready to start? What? Classes begin each Monday and the scholarship is valid for 
30 days? It's most likely an online class, right? And the scholarship is valid for 30 days. What does that mean? It's not a uni scholarship. It's, it's probably an online course. Scholarship for an online course, right? She's giving out money for online classes. That's what I think it is. Because it will be very tedious to actually provide a full-fledged school scholarship to people, right? So she's doing it via online courses. Maybe she's just giving money to students for Skillshare classes, you know? And then branding it as a $1 million scholarship fund. I'm ready to start tomorrow. Let's go. Do you have a HS diploma or GED? Uh, I have a diploma, so I'm just gonna say yes. Are you a veteran of the US Armed Forces? Uh, no, I'm not. Why are they even asking this? Tell us a bit about why you're applying for Miss Pui's scholarship. Uh, you know what? I have an idea. I'm too lazy to type this out, so I am going to get ChatGPT to help me write out a compelling statement to help me pitch to Miss Pui Yi so that I can get this scholarship. Chat GPT, get me this scholarship, god damn it. Help me write a compelling pitch addressed to Miss Pui Yi where the purpose is to receive a scholarship fund. Uh, let's, uh, let's see what it comes up with. Boom. Dear Miss Pui Yi, I hope this letter finds you in high spirits and great health. My name is your name and I am writing to apply for the scholarship fund to support my dream of becoming a travel agent. Ever since a child, I have been fascinated with the idea of exploring new places and discovering different cultures. As I grew older, I realized that there was a whole industry dedicated to making travel dreams come true. And that's when I decided that being a travel agent was my calling. However, pursuing my dream has not been easy. As a student, I face financial constraints that make it difficult to afford the tuition fees and other expenses associated with the travel agent certification course. That's where the scholarship fund comes in. With your help, I can continue my studies and work towards my goal of becoming a travel agent. The scholarship will not only enable me to complete the course, but it will also give me the opportunity to learn from experienced professionals in the industry and gain practical skills that will prepare me for a successful career. Career. Thank you for taking the time to consider my application. I look forward to hearing from you soon and hopefully joining the travel industry with your generous support. Go! We're getting the scholarship, guys. I'm gonna be a travel agent! Yes! Yes! Thank you, ChatGPT. We are getting the scholarship. Easy. Boom. Oh, wait, what was our name? Oh, Trevor. My name is Trevor. Trevor Tomali. <laughs> I think I shouted too loud just now. <laughs> my neighbors probably think I'm crazy. Sorry, neighbors. Got a little bit too excited. I think I creamed myself a little bit. I shouted so loud, I think I'm starting to lactate. I'm lactating. Thanks for that. Do you have references? Please list two personal references who would recommend you for this scholarship. Two personal references. Okay. You had better not ask me for their contact number though. Let's see who. Uh, let's put Yumi Aki. Yeah. Someone in chat. Yumi Aki. 62. Oh, oh phone number. Wow. It's a little personal. Yumi Aki 62 at mothership.com. Okay, reference to who should we put? Brian Wee? Brian Wee? Brian Wee at mediacorp.com. Thank you. By signing below, I certify that the statements herein are true to the best of my knowledge and grant my permission for the school or school representative the authority to call, email, or text me directly. Oh my god, I gotta sign. It's two SpongeBobs. Yay! We did it! I'm fairly confident that I'm gonna get a scholarship. Honestly, I think ChatGPT came in clutch that cover letter. We're gonna get it, guys. We are going to get that scholarship. I promise to split it among every single one of you. All 447 of you will get $1 each. If I were to get that scholarship, leaving me with $500 left to buy more Moss Burgers. This was not expected. I didn't intend to apply for the scholarship, but that was fun. Yeah, that's uh, that's, that's Miss Pui for you. I still hope that I get a scholarship though. 